Hi, and welcome to Tranquility Moms. My name is Coach Kathy, and today we're answering your questions. Hi, Coach Kathy. We have been planning a multiple city trip for months now. My worry is about how disconnected we all are right now. The kids are eight and ten and a half and already do not seem to want to do anything with us. I don't want us to fight the whole trip. How can we get along better? Debbie. Oh, Debbie, yes, my heart as a mom goes out to you because you're watching them bickering at home. You're watching them want to just, you know, separate, disconnect, uh, be on their technology, be in the video games. And they're like family time, mom, you know, everything's a eye roll. Everything's a huff. <laughs> so you think, oh my gosh, we've been planning this trip, right? Multiple cities, you're going to be gone for a while, sightseeing, checking things out, trying things. And travel itself can be tiring. Um, ch hotel check-in might have an issue. If you're flying or driving, oh, extra traffic. Where'd this all come from? This puts us hours behind our schedule. If they are hungry, if they are tired, if you guys as a couple are trying to figure out, well, okay, this place isn't open yet. What should we do until it opens? You know, and you're, you're problem solving right in the mode. Kids just suck into that irritability like, oh, why are we doing this? This is stupid. I don't want to be here. So I think you're right on track. I think thinking ahead of time, already anticipating. One of the things I talk about on this channel is how can we use this vacation? How can this vacation change us, change our attitudes, change our bodies and our health? What can it do to kickstart us into a better closeness and lifestyle and deeper connection with each other? So one of the things, let's go through a couple of different tips that I'm going to give you today. First of all, yes, it's going to be very drastic if you say, well, at home, you're able to have this technology and then we go on the trip and like no technology whatsoever. Okay, that's kind of a cold turkey approach. What I have found when I worked with a lot of families is coming up with something that kind of weans it down. We're going to do one hour of technology or on this part of the car trip, we could do technology or when we get into the hotel room after we've gone sightseeing all day long. Okay, that is when you are granted and able to have the privilege of having this technology. It's a balance. I think it's really meeting them where they're at. Um, if that's something they're really addicted into right now, it's gonna be more tension and fighting to just cold turkey take it away on the trip. Please pay attention, enjoy everything that we're seeing. Mm, okay, they're not gonna jump onto that. But being mindful, how can it be something that the more that they are engaged, the more that they are checking out the things around them, the more that they're less interested in getting plugged in and where they wanna be right where they are. That is also the part of the vacation. Now, at eight and ten and a half, you definitely can have that family meeting. What do we all want on this trip? Let's talk about this ahead of time. So, you know, whether you've laid out the cities that you're going to and you say, okay, in the third city, there's going to be this, this, and this to go check out. What do you vote? What do you think? What would be interesting? What would you enjoy? Make them a part of the planning. That way, it's going to cater right into their interests. If your son is into robots and there's a museum that you're going to be going to that has a, a robot exhibit coming out the time you're going to be there. Okay, now you got his attention. Great. Let him know about that. Let him feel like he is really feeling a part of planning and enjoying how this trip is going to go. And all right. Hang on till day three. We're going to get to the place that you really like to see. Or if your daughter, oh, she loves marine life. She can't wait to swim with the dolphins. Well, swimming with the dolphins on the vacation is going to cost a little bit more money. Okay, well, then why don't we have our family meeting and talk about then should we cut something else out of the trip that we're not as interested in seeing so that we can really all participate in the one thing that we're completely looking forward to. And then Talk to her. Does she want to save up her money for an underwater camera? 
Oh, now she's shopping online. Now she's getting excited about it. Now, again, you are meeting them where they are at. They are part of the planning and seeing up ahead. Okay, this is what's going to be really the fun parts and exciting parts of where we're going that not just boring more at home. We have a lot to check out. Some families will decide everything we do is all together. Or you might divide and conquer. And that's a conversation, again, to feel like, what is everybody comfortable with? If one of the kids is younger and says, I want to just go walk up the path and check out what's there and kick around a rock for a half hour, okay, then maybe mom goes with that child and says, well, then we're going to go do this after lunch. And then maybe dad and the other two kids say, well, we're going to go into town. There are a couple of things that we need to shop for. And we're going to go to the big shop and, oh, what's all this hunting stuff? I've never seen these things before. We don't have these at our local stores near us. That way, again, you're not forcing everybody into a certain category of interest. So that's part of how you're going to help them to get along. Now, you, you say in here, right, like you've just sort of been disconnected and that L in our GLOW model is our love connections. So certainly role model how much you're enjoying their company how you give them the three compliments a day, how you're appreciating how funny they are and you're listening and sitting with them. My daughter and I, we sat on the balcony doing these, these uh, word search puzzles. Oh my gosh, she loved it. Just looking for the letters and sounding out the words because that's what she's at in her reading. And that brought us closer. That felt like just such a close activity that I didn't even think of. It just naturally came to be. So that's what I'm looking at with you, is put in the comments down below, what are the activities, what are the ways that you're planning ahead and how everybody can find the way to enjoy it and that they're seeing it's not going to be all of their interests, it's not going to be all about them, it's going to be how we share in the calendar and in the day-to-day -day planning. That way you can feel like this trip does some repair work. It does some healing on the relationship, laughter and bonding. Oh my gosh, enjoying that quality time together brings us all back together, puts us in a place of maybe forgiving some of the things that we've been going through and able to do fresh start when we get home. Let's go back home really looking at each other's laughter and strengths and how much we can bring out the good in each other. My name is Coach Kathy. Thank you so much for being here at Tranquility Moms. Please subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. That's the best compliment that you can give to us. And today, take care of yourself.